Hey, so Ethan Eigenfeld here. Basically, this video is going to revolve around three tips to improve your editing game in less than five minutes, guys. I am telling you, I have invested way too much time in this, and I have developed these techniques myself um, to save me tons of time. So if you take these techniques, implement them, you will save a ton of time. Like, there's so much value. Yeah, I feel like you're really going to love it. Um, this video is for anyone who wants to up their editing game. I personally believe that no photo should go unedited. Um, if you're not into editing, you just like to do portraits and stuff like that, completely fine too. You can just click off this video. Um, I am releasing an ebook as well on this. Uh, a lot more in depth, a lot more detail. So if you are interested in something like that, I would recommend purchasing that, obviously, if you want to take it to the next level. But um, yeah, these three tips, let's just get right into it. So the first tip I want to give you guys is black and white. If you can make your photos black and white before you finish them, that's, that's ideal, okay? Because the reason for this is because your brain can detect light a lot better in, in black and white. And what you want to see is that as the photo gets farther away, that it should get lighter and closer to the foreground, which is basically closer to the camera that's taking the picture, it, the elements need to be darker because naturally when you take a photo, things like start to fade out. That's just because fog, you know, shit in the air, something like that, it just looks more natural. So you can pick up shades, obviously, a lot better in black and white. I do this with every photo. I double check it, make sure it's in black and white, check it over, and if things don't look good, I adjust the curves. Um, adjust the curves, maybe add some paint in there, make it a little lighter, and you know, fix those problems right away. Uh, the next step, guys, is place elements in first and then cut it out. You will save so much time if you do this technique. And the way to do this is just drag in your elements, put them uh, like uh, half faded out, you know, put the opacity down to 50%, which means the transparency, and just see if it looks good. If it doesn't look natural, obviously don't use it. And if it does, you can cut out the image. You know, there's gonna be a lot of times you're gonna find an image, think it looks perfect, cut that shit out for like an hour, maybe less than you know, 45 minutes or something. You drag that in and then you're like, this looks terrible and you have to delete it. Such a big time waster. I have wasted hundreds of hours on this and I just learned this this past year. It's a great technique, guys. I would highly recommend it. Um, and then the last thing I would want to recommend is the camera raw filter, okay? A lot of people don't know about this. Uh, basically what raw means is that raw is the, the file that comes out of a camera that isn't compressed, which means it can understand and see the pixels in more detail, sort of. I'm trying to explain this well so you can understand. It just, it makes it a lot easier to edit photos. So when you take a picture, it produces two files, a JPEG file and a RAW file. RAWs are a lot easier to edit. And there's a RAW uh, camera RAW filter you can edit the photos in RAW or it tries to replicate that. And you can see it gives you all of these little tabs to edit uh, more professionally. You know, add the highlights, the shadows, the whites, the blacks. I do this with every photo I use, you know, boost the highlights. It makes it look a lot more soft, a lot more professional, a lot more contrasty. It does so much for every photo I edit. Um, now in the, the ebook, actually, I go into detail about what specific settings I use on every photo. So you can see on the right, there's specific settings. I use almost the same settings every photo I publish. With the um, the placing the elements in, I go into more detail about like the exact perspective you want on most of your photos because generally when you're picking out photos, you need, you, you need them in the same perspective. Uh, and then the last one, uh, black and white, um, there is a specific way that you need your your grays to match up with your blacks, and I also go into that. Um, but yeah, if you're looking to um, see those in more detail, again, there's that ebook. Not mandatory, guys. Like you can you can learn all this stuff just from here if you really go in depth with it. If you're just you want to take the easy route, just take the ebook. Um, I'm sure you'll learn a lot from that as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good the video, guys. Thanks.